Okay, uh, here we have uh, the uh, 94 modified, shot Hampton owned. Uh, Jerry Stone and Dale Reed drove this car. Um, I'm doing a video for Brian Satterwhite's Vintage Super Modified website. And I hope you all enjoy this. Um, my name is Perry Tripp. I'm here with uh, Shane Carson and Monty Grice, uh, Doc Grice's son. And uh, Monty and Shane have been a big help to me on this project. And uh, I just want to thank them. And I want to thank Brian for the things he's done for me also. He's also found a few parts for me. Uh, if anybody out there can see parts I need, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, get in touch with me. We'll walk around the car now and let you get a look at the, the car. I've tried to do uh, a complete restoration. Uh, as you can see, I've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm not finished yet, uh, but I am moving forward on the car. Uh, finding the parts has been uh, quite challenging. A lot of them I've had to make. As you can see, I've got the uh, 39 Chevy top loader transmission in it with the 55 Chevrolet internals. I've left the uh, cover off the drive line so you can see how I've got that. Got the fiberglass seat in it like it would have had originally when uh, Jerry and Dale drove it. We got the lead power steering with the 17 inch bell flat steering wheel. We have the uh, Y and cross ram intake manifold and the dual Weber carburetors also the cow custom valve covers uh, the stall headers and then up to the front of the motor we've got the drive I've had to make most of this uh, not finished with it yet but uh, I'm getting close and uh, we have the radiator. Uh, Paul Martins built that for me in Fairview, Oklahoma. I appreciate the good work he did for me there. All the radius Roger steel. Steering arm, steel, everything just like it was when the car was built brand new. Uh, front uh, calipers, air heart. This car had four wheel brakes on it. I am still missing the rear rotors and hats. There'll be one inch vented rotors and hats. Uh, be two piece hat, two hat with the rotor. It'd be a two piece and I need to find those. Uh, most everything else I've got for the car. Okay, we'll walk around the uh, front of the car now. Let you get a good look at the water pump. Uh, how they mounted that to the motor plate. Uh, I want to thank uh, also I want to thank uh, Richard Zakula in Wichita. He was the original builder of this car. Uh, it is a Nance frame but uh, Richard had a lot to do with uh, helping me find a few of the parts. He actually had some of the original parts off the car including this uh, rear wheel and tire and also the knockoffs, the Nance knockoffs for the car. I haven't finished the clutch linkage yet. That's about uh, the last thing I have to do mechanically, uh, other than take the engine apart and rebalance everything. But it had a foot clutch in it, and that was quite challenging to get all that to work. Uh, I've still got just a little bit to do there. I am also missing this left front Nance knockoff. Uh, if anyone would know where there was one at, it's a steel knockoff, and that's the only one I'm missing. Of course, I got to get tires for the car, and uh, I need a I need a right rear wheel too. Uh, I have a right front and left rears, and uh, but I need a right rear safety wheel with a three inch or three and a half inch offset about at least 10 inches wide. I could use 12 inches. But if anyone could come up with that for me, I'd appreciate it. I hope you all have enjoyed looking at this as much as I've enjoyed 
bringing it to you and uh, working on the car. Uh, so as you all know, this car has a lot of history. Uh, as it won the 1976 Hutchison Nationals with Jerry Stone driving the car. And you can see I've got steel torsion arms and stops on the rear, just like it would have had. And the uh, Nance bird cages, just like it would have had. I do have the rear calipers, but I need the uh, the vented rotors and uh, and the two and the hats. If anyone would know where they're at. Thank you very much for looking at this. I hope you've enjoyed it.